Make this your expertise. Knowing him, learning about him, learning how to do things the way he does them, learning how to say things the way he says them. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and you're being blessed by these messages, consider becoming a partner with us. So anyway, tonight I'm going to be talking about how to become an expert. There's many aspects of this, but how to become an expert in speaking in other tongues or in speaking in tongues. Well, some say you don't need to speak in tongues. Have you ever heard this? If you're one of those that says you don't need to speak in other tongues, this message isn't for you. Some people look at speaking in other tongues as if it were the final step in their Christian experience. It's not the final step, speaking in tongues. It's just the beginning of a journey into all things of the Spirit. Frankly, speaking in tongues should lead you into a personal relationship with the Holy Ghost, who is God in the earth today. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now, concerning spiritual gifts or things pertaining to the Spirit, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Who doesn't he want to be ignorant? Would be the brethren. So the brethren, if you're a brethren, you should not be ignorant of spiritual things but so many people are well speaking in tongues is the first step into not being ignorant once you receive the Holy Ghost and begin speaking with other tongues it puts you into the beginning of a journey into the Spirit and you have to commit to go on that journey well I'm gonna go into the Spirit so an expert is someone who knows and does what he knows he knows something and then he does what he knows that's how he becomes an expert Luke 6 46 says why call ye me Lord Lord and do not the things that I say experts know what to do and experts must do what they know we're talking about being an expert here an expert in speaking in other tongues Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began say began so was this the end no this was the beginning of the Holy Ghost coming into the earth this was his idea and it was the beginning they began to speak who did the speaking they did the speaking they began to speak with other tongues as he gave them utterance was this the end of it on the day of Pentecost they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and and spoke with other tongues and that was the end no they began they began now this is his idea this is the Holy Ghost's idea that when he would come into the earth he would give them the ability to speak as he say speak as he in his language have you ever heard this phrase and now you're speaking my language he goes oh now you're speaking my language that's what you're doing when you begin to speak in other tongues you're beginning to speak his language it's a spiritual language you're speaking spirit words I speak his language and it's the beginning of understanding him see when somebody says oh you speak my language you speak my language you're starting to understand the one that you're speaking their language does this make sense well it's how he does things we know that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words well these are some of his words that we're learning how to speak better and more in agreement with the words that he's giving us to utter well they began so here we're, we're talking about being an expert 
in speaking in other tongues they began so they had to do the committing to speak and it was just the beginning say they had to commit and it was just the beginning so when they commit that this is the beginning I'm going to continue I've committed to continue to become an expert in speaking with other tongues so it's not a one-time thing I can't tell you the number of people that have, you know they were in some service and they got filled with the Holy Ghost and they spoke with tongues and they haven't spoken since well that's not right they began and finished at the same time it's not finishing we begin to go on that journey number one in how you become an expert is you have to do it if you're going to be an expert in anything you're going to have to do it right you gotta set aside time to speak in other tongues they say that it takes about 10,000 hours to become a master or an expert in any given field well if you want to be a master in speaking in other tongues 10,000 hours I mean that sounds like a commitment doesn't it that sounds like I have to go on that journey of 10,000 hours so that I can become an expert in it well a lot of people wouldn't do that because they don't believe there's any value in it but when you start to see that there's some value in speaking in other tongues and in speaking in agreement with the things that the Holy Ghost is saying you won't have as much of a problem putting the time in so experts do it and experts know what they're doing first Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God now Paul is writing to brethren right that he didn't want to be ignorant and he's writing to people that he said have received and we know that when you have received the Spirit of God you begin the evidence is that you begin say begin to speak with other tongues as he gives you utterance it's the beginning of a journey you're going on to not being ignorant was ignorant going on to where I'm not ignorant and then I can become an expert you can understand that if I keep going through uh, degrees of losing my ignorance I will become knowledgeable and an expert eventually all right so it says we have now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know so why did we receive the spirit of God with the speaking in other tongues that we might know so I can continue to speak in other tongues and as I continue to speak in other tongues and as I continue to speak with other tongues I'm gonna know something that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God so here we can see automatically that speaking in tongues is a gateway to knowing things that you didn't know before that we might know and he goes on to say the things that are freely given to us of God verse 13 which things also we speak so we're speaking the things and we're knowing the things when when you're speaking in other tongues my preaching tonight and other times when I preach on speaking in other tongues is going to help build your faith and you will be able to go farther after this message on speaking in other tongues in speaking in other tongues you will be able to go farther than you could before you heard this message is this any good I know what I'm doing I've been speaking in tongues for over 30 plus years I'm not bragging on myself I'm just saying I've I put in the 10,000 hours and then some I know the value of it I'm strong in it can you be strong in something yeah I'm strong in this is why I preach on it quite often I have a well-developed prayer language how did I get that well-developed prayer language through use through practice through doing it and through continuing I didn't just begin and stop I began and kept going I suggest if you if this 
interests you at all at being an expert in speaking with other tongues well then associate with people who believe in speaking in other tongues and see the benefit of it and do it and then stop associating disassociate with people who don't speak in tongues and who don't doesn't mean you can't love them but don't but don't associate with people that don't believe in speaking in other tongues or don't do it and don't use it and aren't going on this journey into being an expert now I realize they'll help you along that path of disassociation usually they'll just disassociate with you many of us have been down that road but if we're going to associate with speaking in other tongues we are ultimately associating with the Holy Ghost who that is part of what he gave us the ability to do when he came into the earth it's his method of doing things say it's his method of doing things I believe in speaking in other tongues try that on for size I believe in speaking in other tongues I fully associate with the Holy Ghost and everything he wants to bring through that vehicle which is the, it's the first thing he gave people to do when he came into the earth he could have chose anything but he chose for you to be able to speak as he gives you utterance does this make sense why because he's a speaking spirit he wanted to commune with you and begin you on this journey of knowing him all right when you pray in tongues or speak in tongues he the Holy Ghost is helping you when you pray in tongues or speak in tongues he the Holy Ghost is leading you when you speak in tongues he is teaching you see who you're really associating with when you speak in other tongues him let's look at this you say oh he teaches you when you're speaking in tongues first Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 13 which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches we're speaking words and the Holy Ghost teaches when I'm speaking in other tongues the Holy Ghost teaches when I'm speaking in other tongues the Holy Ghost helps when I'm speaking in other tongues the Holy Ghost leads me is there a benefit of speaking in other tongues oh yeah so here in associating with the Holy Ghost and speaking his language herein is your excellence herein is your expertise or should be your expertise what do you mean speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today make this your expertise knowing him learning about him learning how to do things the way he does them learning how to say things the way he says them Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 thus saith the Lord let not the wise man glory in his wisdom neither let the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches but verse 24 let him that glories glory in this that he understands and knows me now who would we be talking about we'd be talking about the Holy Ghost I would not have you ignorant and when you speak in tongues he has you know things and you're not being ignorant of him and you should be glorying in this herein is your excellence herein is your expertise go to Romans chapter 8 Romans 8 26 likewise the Spirit who would that be Holy Ghost likewise the Holy Ghost also helpeth our infirmities or weaknesses or lack or inability can you imagine that he's helping you he's called the helper the Holy Ghost is helping you say the Holy Ghost is helping me likewise the Holy Ghost the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what to say for as we ought well say for is praying for we don't know what to say for as we ought now when the Holy Ghost came into the earth right what was the first thing he gave them the ability to do they began to speak as he 
for we know not what we should say for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with our groanings we're talking about speaking in tongues so he's helping he's making intercession to make intercession means he's speaking that he's speaking with our groanings of course he's given you the unction and you speak them so with him he's speaking with our groanings that which we couldn't utter before what do you mean what we couldn't utter because we didn't know what we should say for as we ought he's just clarifying that you couldn't say the right way but now the Holy Ghost is helping you to say the right way and he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the Saints according to the will of God and we know when do we know we know after we say for as we ought if we don't say for as we ought with the Holy Ghost we don't know and if we're lacking that knowledge we are not an expert are you here because experts know what they're doing well how do they know what they're doing because they spoke in agreement with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today who has all knowledge well what if you don't know yet keep going keep saying keep praying in other tongues and he will quicken you listen he will quicken you with the knowledge that you need to succeed so where were we let's go to uh first corinthians first corinthians chapter 14 verse 18. i thank my god i speak with tongues more than you all who who is god in the earth today holy ghost so he's thanking the holy ghost I speak with tongues more than you all now we know you read this that the people at Corinthians were tongue talkers and they were doing it a lot here Paul says I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all so do you suppose Paul was speaking in tongues a lot had to be was Paul an expert I thank my God to speak with tongues it's the next word more i thank my god i speak with tongues more say i speak with tongues more hey you want to know the way to become an expert speaking with other tongues you need to speak with tongues more you want to be more of an expert than somebody else not that that's the goal but you need to speak in tongues more than ye all more than people down south so you need to speak in tongues more did you get that well, how you might say did Paul become an expert well first of all was he was he an expert I would think so God used him to write out many of the texts that talk about speaking with other tongues but how did he become an expert he did it by speaking in tongues more than everybody else he did it by speaking all the time say all the time he would have to have spoken all the time if he's going to be have been speaking in tongues more than everybody else so we can see that Paul was an expert in speaking in other tongues should you be an expert Philippians chapter 4 verse 9 as Paul's writing this to the Philippians he says those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do did they hear that Paul spoke in tongues yeah they might have even heard him speaking in other tongues if he was doing it all the time and they were around him they would have heard him right would they have seen him maybe speaking in other tongues all the time he'd be walking down the road they could just see his mouth moving they couldn't hear what he was saying but he his mouth had to be moving those things which you have both learned did they learn about this through him yes and received yes and heard and seen in me do first key to becoming an expert speaking in other tongues you must do and did you read on here and the God of peace shall be with you who is the God of peace it would have to be the Holy Ghost because he's the only one with us in the earth if you do these things he will be with you he said I speak in tongues more than you all 
then he says you should be doing the same things and if you do that who's gonna be with you Holy Ghost so you can like Paul learn how to speak in tongues all the time you know it doesn't have to be out loud so other people are annoyed by it or even look at you weirdly it could be under your breath you can speak can you speak in tongues while you're driving in a car you are the one giving utterance to what the Holy Ghost is giving you all the time say all the time so when I'm driving in a car I like to drive in a car and speak in other tongues can you speak in tongues while you're making me cookies how about grocery shopping yes you can speak in tongues while you're doing anything except speaking when you start speaking in your own language then you can't be speaking in other tongues but all the other times you can be doing that talking about how to become an expert speaking in other tongues Paul said he speaks more than them all of them combined you should be speaking in tongues all the time and you can you can learn how to do this one key in this for me some people family members and whatnot they may understand that you speak in other tongues but there's there's a certain hurdle that you need to get over so that you're probably thinking that they think you're crazy well at some point you got to get over that what's more important to you speaking in other tongues all the time or and under your breath you're not disturbing them or the opinion that they think you're crazy you need to get over that hurt say get over it I'm just telling you from my experience the people that are around me that know me and they they happen to see me walk through the room or down the hallway or I'm doing something else or that I'm just sitting there with a book in front of me and they see my mouth moving and quietly I'm praying in other tongues I've gotten over the hurdle that they might think I'm praying in other tongues not only do they might think I'm praying in other tongues they know I'm praying in other tongues you want to be around me I'm praying in tongues all the time all the time if you wanted to be around Paul the times when he wasn't talking to you he would have been praying in other tongues mostly under his breath are you getting I hope I got that across yes I'm speaking in other tongues say that yes I'm speaking in other tongues right I mean there's there's just kind of a societal hurdle that you need to get over and even a family hurdle that you need to get over someone's gonna be around you all the time they need to know that there are times when you might be walking into the room and you've got this unknown language coming out of your mouth I hope that helps I may take more time on this subject preaching and teaching on this in the future because it's that important speaking in other tongues it's literally the first thing that the Holy Ghost enabled us to do as he came into the earth but it's not the last thing and it should lead us into knowing him as God and worshiping his God using the words I worship you Holy Ghost but all of this is available to you it's all available to you he's not holding back on you it's all available to you you want to know knowing is not being ignorant right and if you're gonna know these things you need to do them so that you have the knowledge that comes with being an expert and makes you an expert it's all available to you this is a gift speaking in other tongues that contains all the other gifts I can tell you that till I'm blue in the face but until you begin to do say do and do enough you won't be in begin to see the results of that it's a knowledge you get from doing it it's a knowledge that someone that's expert in speaking with other tongues could say readily yes it's the doorway to all the other gifts of the Spirit how can I say that because I've been doing it to the degree where I have that knowledge when these things are spiritual they're a spiritual thing they're spiritual words that you're speaking they're spiritually known spiritually understood the Holy Ghost is spiritually known the Holy Ghost is spiritually understood it's why he gave you this language so that you could begin knowing him and unfortunately so many people's doctrine keeps them from knowing him as God don't let that be you 
you have to spend time in the spirit to get it I don't get it you need to spend more time in the spirit well speaking in other tongues is one way and the initial way for you to spend time in the spirit doing something spiritual these tongues are for you tongues aren't for me no these tongues that the Holy Ghost is giving you are for you he's given them to you to use on the earth when you get to heaven you won't need them anymore they are for you well if he's giving them for you they are to help you in your life and so when we're talking about being an expert in speaking in other tongues you're gonna become an expert in your own life and in an expert in a way that you couldn't be without that expertise an expert in your own life and I know believe me I know I've been around long enough people think that they want to receive spiritual gifts so that they can be an expert in everybody else's life but you know what deal with yourself first these things are given to you so that you can speak them forth and have the Holy Ghost in your life again genius that he gave you the ability to speak these words when he came into the earth these words are the capital with which he works with I'm speaking in tongues and he works with those words not only to to give me knowledge and understanding but to bring things to pass to make me a, an expert in life say an expert in life these words are the capital that he uses to work with well how much do you want him to do how much are you willing to speak if he uses those words as capital to work in your life he needs to have the words to work with so how much do you want him to do how much are you willing to speak more I thank my God I speak in tongues more I'm speaking his words when I'm speaking in other tongues and therefore I'm speaking in agreement with him and that enables him to do things for me now Ezekiel 47 9 you don't have to turn there you can later if you want and John 7 39 both speak of rivers of living water that come forth out of your innermost being and it says the river is a river of life and wherever it goes it produces life what do you mean wherever it go? wherever those words go it produces life so those words will produce life in your life and you become an expert in life by speaking those words when you speak in other tongues it not only makes you an expert at speaking in, in other tongues but it makes you an expert through speaking in other tongues through the vehicle of speaking in other tongues hear the word of the Lord just go along for the ride as you speak in tongues as I help you as I deliver you as I lead you as I guide you and instruct you into the fullness of life and ministry I will provide for you I will empower you to prosper so relax enjoy the ride rest as you go you should be an expert in speaking in other tongues let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you these people are blessed and they're going on through the vehicle of speaking your words into the earth I thank you that these great things and these great times are happening in your people and we will Holy rise up to be the great people day. that you've called us to be we worship you Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost in Jesus God name in Amen Holy Ghost,